Welcome to Illotalk, AI to AE, where you learn to translate your knowledge of Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop a little bit into animating Adobe After Effects. And today we are going to talk about exporting an animated GIF, which is stupidly complicated. It's not that hard, but it's just, it should be way easier. You are going to add the composition from Adobe After Effects to the render queue, render it out as a PNG sequence with an alpha channel, open up that PNG sequence in Photoshop, and do a legacy export, a save for web. So you go to File, Export, uh, Save for Web, you choose GIF, you choose Looping, and you save it as an animated GIF. You've already animated something, and the first thing you want to do is you want to right click over here and go Composition Settings, or press Command K. You want to make sure that you shrink down the length of your composition to just the part that is being animated and is going to loop. I have a looping expression down here, but I don't need the looping expression because um, after one second it's exactly the same, so I just need the first second of it. So I'm going to reduce the duration of my composition down to that. Then I'm going to make sure that I have this turned on, the toggle transparency grid. Okay, And now, with the correct one selected, because you can have different ones selected, and it'll show whatever is down in your timeline. With the one that you want to export selected, then you go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Okay? And that will bring up your Render Queue, and it'll, it'll add it to the bottom of a list if you've rendered other things before. And so, at the bottom of this list, you have two things. You have to do it in this order. You're going to go to Output, and you'll click on the blue word next to Output, and then you're going to come over here and choose Format, PNG Sequence, and change your channel to RGB plus Alpha. So Format, PNG Sequence, and then your channel to RGB plus Alpha. Then you click OK. Then over under Output 2, you'll click on the blue there, and that is going to be where you choose where it's going and what it's called. Leave these number signs and everything after that underscore. And you can just come in here and say, a new folder, export, whatever, right? And you name that whatever you want. And then you name this whatever you want in front of that underscore. Okay, and you press save. Then you'll have to render it. And so you click render. You'll notice that it goes through that whole process. Right, and we'll go through and we'll open up our file format and you will see that we have export. We have this whole sequence here. There it is. Every sequence. Now it's every frame as a PNG with an alpha channel. PNG with an alpha channel, we're talking about uh, the transparency or what is not showing. Okay? Then what we need to do is we need to open up Photoshop. Okay. And so in Photoshop, I'm going to go to File, Open. Okay, and we'll go and we'll find, I had it on the desktop, here, Export, that's what it, that's, this, the name inside of that folder is the name of your composition. Choose the first PNG, don't click on all of them, and don't double click, just click on it a single time. Choose Options, and that'll bring up these two options, and Image Sequence. If you click Image Sequence, then it's going to see whatever this name is, underscore, and then numerically, it's going to grab everything in that numerical chain. Okay, So it's going to grab all of those, this one being the first one. Click Open. Choose a frame rate. That's how long and how fast you want things to go. Usually that should match your composition settings, but you can cut it in half if you want. And then if you don't see this down here, let me show you what it might look like. It might look like this just normally, and in your Layers panel you have Video Group and Layer 1. If you don't see anything down at the bottom, go to Window, Timeline, okay? And you can see that you can now scrub, and it's got all those PNGs with the alpha channels brought in, okay? The next thing that you want to do is go to File, Export, and then I like Save for Web. Adobe seems to be trying to get rid of this and replace it with other things, but Save for Web is still, even though it's legacy, is still much better than a lot of the things that they're doing lately on exporting. And so I go with Save for Web. OK, 
Okay, that's going to bring up a new window. And in this new window, those are my notes, um, you want to choose GIF. Okay, there are a bunch of options here. Okay, just go with the highest number of colors that you can get. There's lots of options. Make sure that you have transparency chosen. Um, it's going to, you know, limit your color palette, which is just an unfortunate side effect of using the GIF. Um, you can reduce the size at this point. I'm going to bring this down to like 800 pixels tall because right now it's at like a little over a megabyte. And once I do that, then it's going to come in and reduce that down to about 400K, which is a little bit better. Okay, and then under looping options, you can play this. It is not going to play it at full speed, so it'll seem possibly really slow, um, but this isn't exactly what it's going to render out at, right? And so but make sure that you loop forever for a looping animated GIF, and then press save. Then it's going to give you the option to name it and where to put it. You just press save again. And then we go back to that, and we have untitled 5 GIF. Here we go. There it is. If you press the space bar and time it right, they bounce at different times. So that's it. So just to recap, you are going to add the composition from Adobe After Effects to the render queue, render it out as a PNG sequence with an alpha channel, open up that PNG sequence in Photoshop, and do a legacy export, a save for web. So you go to File, Export, uh, Save for Web, you choose GIF, you choose Looping, and you save it as an animated GIF. That is how you do it. We'll catch you guys next time. My name is Corey Kerr. You can catch my stuff at CoreyKerr.com. Um, and if you liked this video and found it useful, then subscribe and check out AI to AE. That's the playlist that teaches you how to move from Adobe Illustrator to Adobe After Effects. If you want to learn Adobe Illustrator, check out um, my vector graphics playlist. And if you want to see the type of artwork that I work on, check out Illotalk and Speed Drawings. We will catch you guys later. I'm out.